God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, He is Jehovah. He's my strength and my song. Don't worry, I'm not driving at the moment. Uh, it's Wednesday morning, March, 8, uh, March 24. And I was remembering this song. This was a song that uh, I sang on a on a night when my sister and I were backpacking in a very remote mountain lake and a very large bear. She thinks it was a grizzly. I didn't have the courage to look out the window of the tent to, to find out. Uh, but this bear was circling our tent uh, throughout the night, coming and going, coming and going. And when it came, I would sing that song. It was uh, the song that just came to my mind and I just started, jumped into it. And, um, and it occurred to me how important songs are to just to our identity as who we are in Christ. Um, most of us have some songs, maybe they're, they're, uh, songs that we learned on the radio or at church or, um, or in choir or in some, in some place where, um, uh, when, uh, for me, that song, when I, when I can't think of what to pray or I'm in a difficult situation or I'm not, I just, uh, want to start off at some kind of a time with God, I, I'll sing that song. And, um, um, and I share it with you. It's interesting. I was going to just share the words because, uh, I'm not a great singer. I didn't want to just sing it, but I forgot the words when I was trying to just speak them. I needed to sing it in order for the words to, to come back. And a lot of times, uh, the things that we know at, in, in Christ are, are, we know them because of, are what in, are what are in those songs. Um, there is a bird, a rare Australian bird, uh, that I saw a story about called the Regent Honey Eater. And the, the population of this bird has become so small, just down to a couple hundred birds left in, in the southeastern part of Australia that, uh, the young birds are having difficulty finding an older bird to teach them their song, their mating song. Um, it's the song they use for mating. They, they, they use it to mark territory and um, mark where to find food and so on. But the young birds are not learning their song anymore. And so they're having difficulty mating. They're having difficulty wooing the other birds because they don't know their song anymore. And so they're, they're because they're not learning their song, they're, they're threatening to become uh, extinct as a, as a bird at all. And I just thought I, when we finally come back together, it's going to be interesting to know if we can remember our songs again. Uh, I would encourage you to, to hum along or to, uh, to mouth the words, to come in person and, and hear the songs again and, 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 and learn again what it is to sing the songs. But I think after all this time, that may be the one piece of worship that might be difficult. Uh, today's scripture passage, Jonah chapter one, uh, Jonah is, uh, caught in the storm after he had gone the wrong direction. God had sent him to Nineveh and he said, ah, I'm not going that way. I'm going to go find a boat and go to Tarshish. Um, and, uh, the storm came up and it's, it's interesting. All of the other sailors were crying out to their God in the midst of the storm. Uh, but not Jonah. Jonah was fast asleep and the, the captain had to come wake him up and say, Jonah, why, why are you asleep? Get up and cry out to your God. Maybe your God will be the one that will save us. Um, and, uh, it's, it's as if Jonah had forgotten his song to sing. And, and, uh, um, even in the time of great trouble, a song was not on his lips. Um, so important to find, uh, find a way, a pattern, a, uh, a routine, uh, to respond to God in the midst of great trouble. And, and maybe that song is an actual song or maybe it's going to scripture. It's interesting that this bird in Australia is called the, the honey eater because, um, there's another song or there's a, there's a scripture passage where, um, it says the, the word of God will be like honey to our lips. Um, and that, 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 that taste will, will be what, um, gives us great delight in, in, um, in uh, our ability to relate with, with God and to respond in difficult situations. Um, so the end of that song that I just sang, um, that, uh, that God will be our strength and our song. My prayer for you today is that, that God would be your strength 
and would be your song uh, as we now complete a full year of being in this um, time of COVID and dealing with some very difficult situations. And uh, so enjoy this day. Um, find a song to sing and, uh, and, and sing it proudly to, to God and, and, uh, or at least in your own heart. Uh, may God's word be like honey to your lips. Have a great day.